I release a line of, of way too tight, way tighter than God ever intended them to be worn in <laughs> jeans. Yeah, I released a sex tape on the show. <laughs> uh, my, my favorite episode, I think, I uh, we do the one version of the body swap movie that's never been done before, Father Daughter. Oh, they oh. What's up guys, Nikki Novak here in the Young Hollywood studio with the star of Don't Trust the Bee in Apartment 23, James Van Der Beek. How's it going? It's going well. Great and to have you here. Thank you for having me. I thought maybe after I, I turned 35 and had two kids, I'd, you'd punch my card at Young Hollywood. I wouldn't be allowed Well, you don't look a stitch over 19. In. Well, thank you, but I think. It's more of an attitude than an age. <laughs> Staying young at heart. That's what I always say. So the new show. Yeah. You have, you're playing a character, but I'm sorry, I can't remember what your character's name is. I play an actor named James Vanderbeek. Oh, right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, well, you're playing a version of yourself. I'm playing a bizarro world version of <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, you know, this is our, our chance to skewer actors and, and just make fun of, of Hollywood and, and, and pop culture, really, right. in general. And we all do it uh, with my name and, and some, of, some of the pieces on my resume. Why do you look like Indiana Jones when he's a professor? I did it. You did it. I'm going to teach an acting class at NYU. I figure if James Franco can do it, so can I. I hate that guy ever since he beat me out for the role of Harvey Milk's lover. I hate Franco. I'm going to beat him at acting teaching. So basically, <laughs> you get to just have more fun than anybody I else is having in Hollywood. I get to have so much fun. The girls are so great in the show. I mean, they're just phenomenal, and they anchor it. Yeah, and it's, you're the they, neighbor, they basically. They carry it. I'm, I'm, I'm the wacky best friend for all right. intents and purposes. So, because they do such a good job of, of holding down the fort, I get this long leash to just do whatever. So you also get to, there's some other fun things you get to, you have a jeans line. Yep. I release a line of, of way too tight, way tighter than God ever intended them to be worn <laughs> jeans. And what are they called? Beak jeans. Beak jeans. Put your cheeks in a beak. <laughs> Gotta get yourself a pair. <laughs> yeah, I release a sex tape on the show. Uh, my, my favorite episode, I think, I, uh, I have to, I mean, we do the one version of the body swap movie that's never been done before, Father Daughter. Oh, they're, oh. <laughs> and so <laughs> I have to learn how to be an 11 year old girl. Well, Care I, to give us a demonstration? And so I, uh, well, I study from Kiernan Shipka from no Mad Men, who plays herself in the episode. So celebrity culture and pop culture and all that stuff that's going yeah. on now. Yeah. We want to play. We're just, a we're just making fun of actors. We want to play a little game with you. Okay. We want to ask your thoughts on some popular culture or celebrity behaviors. Oh gosh. <laughs> Okay. Men wearing skinny jeans. Yes. Skewer, good or no? Awesome. <laughs> the tighter the better. The tighter the better. I say rock it. So and should they I have say, a... I say, I say why keep tight jeans for just women? I think that's sexist. I think men should absolutely I, be able to wear tight I jeans. I think you're absolutely right. And the bigger the crest on the butt, the better, right? <laughs> Celebrities, nude cell phone pics. Either yeah. having them or texting them. Well, how else are they going to send them? <laughs> Come on now. True. Reality stars launching their own perfume line. Um, who doesn't want to smell like a reality star? <laughs> <laughs> Retouching pictures of yourself before posting them on Facebook or Twitter. Are you saying this is just a celebrity issue? General, I've generally lot, speaking. I got a lot of non-celebrity friends who retouch their Facebook pics. Can you always tell? I can always tell. I, I mean, I'm guilty of doing it. I, I do it myself. I can't. My wife can't. My wife would be like, you totally retouch them. Like, really? I don't even... Um, so you've been doing... I mean, prior to the show, it's sort of funny, because you did a bunch of Funny or Die yeah. skits. Yeah. And kind of poking fun at yourself, in a way, or poking fun at the business. embracing whatever was going on at the moment, yeah. The Vander feelings. The Un Vander memes, yeah. On Funny or Die. Yeah. So, and basically what they were, for anybody who hasn't seen it, but it was like you expressing various emotions. Yeah, yeah. Well, what happened was there was, a, there was like a four second clip from Dawson's Creek uh, of me crying in a rather ugly fashion. I found out that this is being used in the internet chat rooms to, to mock other people. <laughs> if anybody was ever whining, they would just go, oh. <laughs> and I, I thought it was hilarious. And so we decided to run towards it and offer a right. whole variety of different Of memes. different emotions. Yes. Yeah. Being in the business for so long, best advice you've ever given, either to your kids or somewhere else, or best advice you've ever received? You know, I think the best advice I ever got was from John Voigt, um, who said when I was first signing autographs, and it was really crazy, and I didn't know what, where to put it or what to do with it, and I mentioned it to him, and he said, nah, 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 you're not gonna get ego from it, you're not that kind of guy. 
you've got the opportunity to make somebody very happy by doing something very simple. And that's all it is. And I thought, yeah, that makes sense. And basically, in kind of the message of the show, don't ever take yourself too seriously. Totally. I love doing this, and it's a lot of fun. But whatever it is, it's really, it's just, it's kind of for other people. It's not, it's not for you to get off on. It's not all about yourself. Yeah. And on that note, stop taking pictures of yourselves, celebrities, so, in the news. So, hold on, is the camera on me? Is this a good angle?